dear students today i am going to teach a question from class 9 book which is related to section formula chapter the question is like this in what ratio is the line joining the point 1 comma 1 and minus 2 comma 4 divided by x axis also find their point of intersection and the second part is y axis divided by y axis also find their point of intersection this is the question now this question we can solve in this way let us draw one figure so that it will be clear to you so the figure will be like this let us say this is y axis and this is x axis x axis this is y axis y dash x dash suppose this point is one point is one comma one so we can plot here one comma one up to here suppose one comma one this is one comma one and another point is minus two comma four suppose one two comma this is one two three four up to here suppose mm, this is minus two comma four another point minus two comma four we can join this one so this the line joining this point and this point divided by y axis this is internal division y axis for y axis the second part of the question it is internal division but for first part we can elongate this one the point on the axis is this one so it is external division the point is outside the line so it is external division in the case of first case we'll get external division second case is internal division so in first case we'll get the negative ratio and then second case we'll get positive ratio external division means negative ratio will come so now let us consider this as point a this as b and let us say this is p this is q okay so we can consider here now like this here here a 1 comma 1 and b minus 2 comma 4 are the points are the points let p x comma 0 the point on the x axis will consider x comma 0 because here this is 0 comma 0 1 comma 0 2 comma 0 3 comma 0 4 comma 0 minus 1 0 minus 2 0 like this y coordinate is always 0 so that we can consider x comma 0 let p x comma 0 b the number a this is solution of number a b the point on x axis which divides a b in the ratio m1 is to m2 we can consider ratio as well so now using section formula we have x comma y equals to x formula is m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 now let us put the value x comma 0 is the point x comma 0 equals to m1 we don't know times x2 now look at here this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 x2 is minus 2 m1 x2 plus plus m2 x1 is 1 divided by m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 comma again m1 y2 now this is also see x1 y1 x2 y2 y2 is 4 x y1 is 1 so here 4 y2 plus m2 y1 is 1 divided by m1 plus m2 now we'll equate the corresponding components to get the value so here x is unknown y is known so that we'll equate y first of all y coordinate so equating corresponding components 
we get y will equate 0 equals to this one 4 m1 plus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 now let us cross multiply m1 plus m2 times 0 is 0 itself equals to 4 m1 plus m2 transpose m1 this side or minus 4 m1 equals to m2 or m1 divided by m2 now what will be there minus 4 by 1 or 1 by 4 which one will be there you can guess Okay, look at here, we can realize M2 is here. So here is 1, 1 we can keep here only. M1 times minus 4, this we are transposing this side, so it will go minus 4 here. Or you can check, verify your answer, like this way also. After cross multiplication, you should get this step. Otherwise, your answer is incorrect. So if minus 4 times M1, minus 4 M1. M2 times 1, M2, 1. 1 times M2. So this is a correct one. Therefore, m1 is to m2 equals to 1 is to minus 4. Our ratio is minus in negative. It shows that the division is external. Here from figure also we can see clearly the line AB is divided by this x-axis in external way because the point on the axis is outside the line. So it is external division. So here also we are getting negative. So similarly, now we are asked to find their point of intersection also, look at here. Also find their point of intersection, that means we have to find the coordinates of this point. To find coordinates of this point, y is already known 0, x we need to find. So we will equate this x1 part now. Again this, we will equate x part here, x equals to, again, x equals to, we have already minus 2 m1 plus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 now you can put the value of m1 and m2 m1 is 1 m2 is minus 4 this value we can put here or x equals to minus 2 times m1 is 1 plus m2 is minus 4 divided by m1 is 1 plus m2 is minus 4 this is equals to minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 minus 4 divided by minus 3 or or x equals to minus 6 divided by minus 3 therefore x equals to 2 so therefore the point of intersection of the line AB AB and x axis is x comma 0 the point is x comma 0 value of x we got 2 so it is 2 comma 0 2 comma 0 similarly now second part number b we can solve here number b question number b we can start from here number b number b we have to find this one point see point q and the ratio y axis y axis means this one q and then also find their point of intersection means coordinates of Q also we will find. So coordinates of Q here will be this X, X, X coordinates will be 0. A Y coordinates will be Y itself. Why? Because here this is 1 comma 0 comma 1, 0 comma 2, 0 comma 3, 0 comma 4, 0 comma 5 like that. Here also 0 comma minus 1, 0 comma minus 2, downward also like that only. So X is always 0, Y is variable. So we can consider 0 comma y. Yes, let the point. So let us consider here number B. Let the point on y axis be 0 comma y, which divides AB in the ratio m1 is to m2 now let us apply formula we have x comma y same process we can apply equals to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 divided by m1 plus m2 comma 
m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 so here this is point is 0 comma y so we'll put here 0 comma y equals to m1 as it is now x2 same as previous one here also see this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 m1 x2 is minus 2 m1 x2 plus m2 x1 is 1 divided by m1 plus m2 comma m1 y2 now y2 here is it x1 y1 x2 y2 so y2 is 4 y1 is 1 m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 same process same as number 8 only the point is different coordinates is different this one is 0 comma y it was x comma y y x comma 0 now 0 comma y that is only different now equating here also equating 